The four-step method to high-performance trading and the seven-step daily routine for high-performance traders are both free downloads. The four-step method for high-performance trading is about de developing the mindset and the routines to increase your competence and your ability to execute your trading edge in a live trading environment. Constant progress. Seven-step daily routine for high-performance traders is an audio program download designed to help traders bulletproof their day-to-day -day habits, discipline, and develop a winning mindset. Again, the link is in the description box below. They're free downloads. Let's get started. Just reminding traders if they're new to this channel or if this is the first time you've seen this video, if you go to this playlist, everything you need is in this playlist as it is titled. We go over the templates, the timings, the levels, the behavior of price. This will help to bulletproof your understanding of the best trade setups in the playbook. Again, these are free videos on the YouTube channel to support and enhance the skills and the development of your trading prowess within the playbook itself. Everything you need is in this playlist. Trader Stacy Berg from Stacy Berg Trading, continuing our discussion today on three-day setups on any given day. Again, in the past, there's been uh, three-day setups. As I've explained, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, day one, day two, day three. Wednesday is the reset day. Becomes day one into the closing range of the week, day one, day two on Thursday, day three on Free Cash Friday. So again, a weekly template. Uh, Monday is our opening range. Wednesday is our midpoint range of the week. And Friday is the closing range of the week. And we can have weeks that trend, day one, day two, day three, and continue to trend into the closing range of the week, day one, day two, day three. We can have pump and dump templates that we've talked about in the playbook or dump and pump templates. We've gone over these examples in the playbook. A Monday to Friday pump and dump example on the British pound, page 19, and on page 20, a dump and pump template Friday to Friday on the Euro USD. Talked about the importance of the opening range and the initial balance, timings, major red news on the schedule, the basic model for trade entries, and we're focusing now on three day setups, high week, low week opportunities as the week begins to trade. Now we're on Tuesday. And as I mentioned yesterday, a three day setup starting on Tuesday would count backwards Tuesday, Monday, Friday. And some of the things that can give us signals to identify a best trade candidate can often involve day three longs or day three shorts in the markets. Often those types of opportunities will come in a Monday to Friday template. And I've talked about those types of opportunities often showing up on a non farm payrolls week. We can get first red day signals. We'll look at an example of first green day today and also the inside day. We've gone over that in several videos as well as the larger time frame templates. Now today we're talking about Tuesday. Tuesday is day two in the new week and often that's where we will see the range expansion. Opening range initial bounce that establishes the two boundaries high and low of the week and in a large percentage of cases one of those extremes will tend to hold for the week and that will often help set us up on the back side of the week into the closing range also to identify a big opportunity if it presents on free cash friday and sometimes on free cash thursday now three day setups friday monday tuesday sometimes we may have an inside bar on a friday or a monday and we can have a thursday friday monday tuesday opportunity so one of the things that you want to be looking for is a signal day, first green day, first red day, or an inside day. Potential best trade candidates will give us either a trend trade opportunity. Now, often we'll see those occur in, in a lot of cases in the London session. There may be major uh, red news on the calendar. We saw that on the Aussie cross pairs this morning uh, in the Asian session last night in North American time. We can look for reversal trade opportunities, high of day, week levels, low of day, week levels. We're in a new week, a new timing cycle, and those weekly levels are significant boundaries for a three-session setup. Major red news. If there is major red news, there could be a news momentum catalyst opportunity, first bar or first bounce. We'll look at an example on a Canadian dollar cross pair. We're looking for one or two 90-10 best trade setups. We can see opportunities come in the form of a pump and dump over a longer template, a three-day template, or even a 
session template, as we'll look at an example on the indexes today, and the dump and pump opportunities, which we will look at in an example of that also. And I want to talk about this for a moment before we continue. The pump and dump and dump and pump opportunities are repeatable parabolic trade setups that show up again and again and again, whether it's over the course of three days, over the course of three sessions, or even over the course of three hours. They are scalable in size because they are driven by other time frame traders. There can be multiple opportunities in one day based on the type of setup and whether or not one model may be a nail and bail. A longer time frame, as we'll see on the indexes today, may offer traders a, an opportunity on the longer time frame that can be pump and dump or dump and pump opportunity because we're at day two, we're at the higher low of the week. Other time frames can be involved at those extremes other time frame traders. My approach is to take one to two trades a day. 80-20, lock in the money and walk away. 80-20 means that 80% of those trades are, are locking in the money, walking away, and the day is done in that one hour window. 20% may be opportunities, aka free cash Friday, where we have an opportunity where the market may be going on a range expansion to close out the week and not coming back. And it may be an opportunity to be trading and holding on longer with more size and riding that until the fruition of that day is concluded. But in simple terms, the day-to-day -day process, the pump and dump and dump and pump opportunities are there. They're scalable, they're repeatable, they show up on all instruments. We went over this yesterday, having a basket of instruments that can, that can uh, be highly tradable in those sessions. Again, uh, not to say that any instrument on any given day can offer an opportunity in a session, in any session. But having a larger basket allows us an opportunity to be selective for the highest probability slash possibility 90-10 best trade candidate or candidates. Today we'll take a look at the indexes and a couple of currency pairs that offered best trade opportunities. <laughs> My main window is the U.S. session. Now, the day zero template, page 84, as I've explained, the three-day template offers traders a uh, scalable range expansion opportunity if indeed that presents. And that template offered traders an opportunity on the DJ30 today. We can also see day zero setups within a day itself, an outside day template, and within a session itself where we see peak formation high, peak formation low, consolidation. Friday's our closing range of the week, and we have a peak formation high above Thursday's closing price, a peak formation low at the low of the week. We have an inside day on Monday, our opening range, that closed as a first green day. So remember, we've talked about the levels that are significant when a new week and a new day start. Every single trader has access to this information when a new, a new week and a new day starts. Friday's closing price is where the auction process begins from, and that's where everything starts from. The low of day, high of day levels are where other time frame traders have established those boundaries at the closing of the, of the previous day. And when a new day starts, those areas can be significant, especially at the beginning of a new week, a new timing cycle, for other time frame traders to be stepping in as one side may be dominant over the other. All of my trades will take place at one of these three levels. If we extend outside of a range, we can have low hanging fruit continuation opportunities. We redraw those highs or lows if those levels are broken for either dump and pump templates or pump and dump templates. Repeating that we'll either have one of two templates depending on the instrument that you select. It'll either be a pump and dump opportunity or a dump and pump opportunity. So we have a first green day template. The market trades into the low of day level in the first hour of the US session at the close of the London window before engulfing. This is a 15 minute chart. Our universal entry criteria Basic model for trade entries is on page 29 in the playbook. We have our engulfment 30 minutes into the first hour of the U.S. 12 candle window. Now I can already hear traders saying, but New York indexes don't open until 9.30. You're correct. Several traders hit this trade early. And this was an opportunity and an example of where a trade can move in the first hour. This has been setting up 
over the course of the two days, we had the, going back to our 15-minute chart, closing price of the week on Friday, traded into an inside day. We have a signal day. We have a first green day, which is a low of day, low of session buying opportunity, if indeed it presents. This was an early opportunity for traders to position themselves in the market in the first hour. No major red news on the schedule. For instances, we could say this is the hot chick of the three indexes. And also, you'll recognize the dump and pump template on the smaller time frame, but also on the larger time frame. Monday's high of day dumps down into closing price of the week and underneath the closing price of the day. A higher high is made just prior to dumping down. Again, the higher high, then the dump down into closing price level. One, two, three pushes in our timing window. The engulfment for traders who waited for the 930 open and did not look at the other two indexes. They still had plenty of opportunity to enter this market at or better than closing price or following through recognizing that this was now a reversal trade setup and we could have a range expansion opportunity even on the smaller consolidation that appeared underneath the high of the day level for a 200% expansion of the range. Back to the original template, peak formation high, peak formation low, consolidation, first green day, signal day, an explosive parabolic long trade, closing price to high of week. Contrasting that with the NASDAQ 100, we have our Monday opening range that broke out. Now I wanna just point out that the New York session, the 9.30 open, opened up top here before reversing and closing below the open of the New York market, equity market open. That's a first red session. And that gave traders a, a fantastic shorting opportunity in the London window from closing price down to the closing price level of the week from Friday. So again, timings, levels, behavior of price. We had a first green day signal, but we had a first red session set up for traders coming into the new day. Now, this peak formation underneath was Friday's closing range of the week. This lower high, again, is very similar to the one we just saw up top. That is where the New York session traded underneath on Friday. So we have a New York session forming the peak formation low, a New York session forming the peak formation high, similar to a day zero setup opportunity. But now one of these boundaries may hold. Friday's closing price is where everything started from. We've triggered longs into the market at the high of Friday's closing price range. So we have longs triggered. That market gives a sell high opportunity in the London window, a higher high again, the dump and pump template, potentially targeting the low of Monday's opening range where long other time frame traders may have stops in place. Today's opportunity gave traders a uh, nail and bail opportunity right at the open for over 50 pips straight into closing price level. And understanding the reason why this is a nail and bail is that this is a level now where this trade could fail. This is where the market started from. That means other time frame buyers may be sitting underneath of this level as they came in on Friday night and where we auctioned from on Monday morning to buy underneath of that level. Now the dead giveaway for the nail and bail opportunity at the open is the space underneath down to closing price. We've traded down into that just prior to our first hour window. We've come down and then pumped up into the New York open. This space again underneath is low hanging fruit for the parabolic, we'll blow up, blow this up for traders, the parabolic short trade Right at the open of the New York session for over 50 pips into the low of day, low of week, closing price level, three levels in one low of day, low of week, and the closing price level for the nail and bail opportunity. The pump and dump template, again, just reinforcing the traders, once you have the setup in place, the time frame of your chart is irrelevant if you have, have the setup. A one minute chart gave traders a one bar stop Break and structure the first bounce opportunity right off the open inside of our basic model for trade entry criteria for an explosive 50 plus pip parabolic move into the low of the week level. Now for traders who are looking for the longer time frame potential reversal setup, we have our dump and pump opportunity. 
dumping down and then pumping up the reversal. Back inside the previous breakout levels where the pump began, we have a little three push reversal, reverse head and shoulders pattern. One hour, two hours, a third hour reversal after the New York Open, back to high of day. So there was opportunities on the, the dump side, opportunities on the pump side on the NASDAQ 100. There were several uh, examples of uh, low-hanging fruit on some of the yen cross pairs. We'll look at one and uh, the Bank of Japan explosive news in the Asian window today. Coming back to Wednesday, our midpoint range of the week. Thursday and inside day, we had the false break reversal on Friday for an explosive parabolic long trade that closed out of balance. We made higher highs on Monday, the opening range of the new week. That higher high now is the template potentially for the dump and pump setup. That was completed on the news catalyst of the Bank of Japan. That market continued to auction higher before pulling back and consolidating in our London window and giving traders an explosive continuation low-hanging fruit trade in our U.S. session. Again, no major red news on the calendar. We have our engulfments right into our first hour, and that market gave traders an easy low-hanging fruit trend continuation trade in a market that was in breakout after a news fundamental catalyst driver. So low-hanging fruit will back this up again. Looking at the last three days, we have the explosive long trade out of bounds. Friday, Monday, higher highs for the dump and pump. And then on the smaller window from the high of the day, a smaller dump and pump continuation for the low-hanging fruit trade. Page 69 in the playbook for an easy zero stress trend continuation trade. There was a reversal opportunity on the Canadian dollar. We had uh, major red news at 8.30. Canadian CPI, again, Monday's opening range was an inside day. The market then went on a range expansion at the end of the Asian window, heading into our Europe London window. So day one opening range, day two expands the range. Even with our universal entry criteria, we have a trend trade in place, 15 minute chart, basic model for trade entries for traders in the Asian window or into the open of the Europe session. Low hanging fruit continuation. We had major red news, the CPI at 830 that blew off vertical to the high of the year. Now, just pointing out some simple things again, uh, Friday's closing range of the week. So traders, again, I want to emphasize understanding the opening range and the closing range and the significance heading into a new week for opportunities, day one, day two, day three. We made higher highs at the end of the U.S. session. And we have our peak formation high, peak formation low, and an inside day. That's our consolidation. That's a day zero template now that breaks out and begins to trend. One push, two push vertical on the news taking out the high of the year, one hour up. First hour closes up top. Our second hour consolidates at the high of the year. Our third hour opens and we have our pin hammer at the very high and our engulfment, one, two, three at the high. We have a one bar stop for traders who want to position themselves early. And we have a 15 minute entry. We'll go to that chart, the high of the year for a 50 pip collapse into higher level longs, pinning down into the high of day breakout level. A fantastic reversal opportunity. There were first bounce opportunities, pound Canadian, we'll look at that in a moment. But again, an example of a three day setup, blowing off on the news, up top, outside of the daily high of day opening range breakout, and the reversal at the high of the year timings the beginning of the third hour. One hour, two hours consolidates at the high. Third hour reversal for a zero stress, easy free cash reversal opportunity on day two. We're looking at the pound Canadian and we have a level where the pump began on Friday's closing range uh, the, two weeks ago. We have the entire week now trading inside of a consolidation. Uh, Monday's opening range traded lower on Tuesday day two. That lower high now becomes a lower high of the week as that market traded sideways inside of that peak formation low and peak formation high made on Tuesday on the range expansion. 
and that consolidation traded inside. Monday of this week was an inside day. We also had a first red day, which gave traders a first red day shorting opportunity at the London Open, down through the low of the week. That higher high on the inside now is a potential setup for a dump and pump template. Now also we've triggered shorts into the market. So we have our inside day opportunity potentially setting up. First red day for London session traders, 58, a high of day, high of session, shorting opportunity, timings, levels, behavior, price from the closing price level to the low of the week. And then our inside day potential false break. Uh, we have major red news at 8.30 on the Canadian CPI. First bar opportunity targeting the high of the previous week. The Tuesday's high. Now, traders, this is a 40 pip candle. And the first question that there's two things I want to go over here. Number one, as I've explained, it's a news momentum catalyst repeatedly. Thesis is that momentum is driving this move. A maximum stop loss for me on any particular pair is going to be 20 pips. Because the thesis, again, is that this trade should carry through. Meaning that once that explosive move is there, a first bar opportunity typically will trap volume. That means everybody underneath is caught and they've already traded to the high of the inside day. But if we back this up to our longer time frame, the real target is the other low hanging fruit all the way back up through the previous week's highs. Understanding if you're prepared and you have your thesis, we have our inside day signal day. A first bar opportunity gave traders 30 to 35 pips of zero stress on a news momentum catalyst trade setup where we have a larger time frame template in place. As I mentioned, there's a time to nail and bail and lock in the money. And there are other setups that are driven on longer time frames, as we saw in some of the reversal trades for holding and potentially scaling into those as they may not come back. Free Cash Friday is a great example of that, but on these trade opportunities, which there were several others today, day one, day two, tomorrow's day three, if you are prepared and you have a basket of instruments and you can narrow that down to one or two and just look for the best opportunities in your session, doesn't matter if there's another one that moves better. I hear traders say all the time, this was cleaner, that was cleaner. They're all, if it's a, if it's a 90, 10 parabolic setup, there is no such thing as this was cleaner. That was cleaner it is it is. Did you execute the trade setup flawlessly according to the plan and the rules and the market conditions, behavior of the trader timings, levels, behavior of price, simple, reproducible parabolic trade setups that are scalable in size that show up again and again. And again, and if you have a basket of instruments to choose from, you should have no shortage of opportunities in these markets. Traders 1% better every single day. Congratulations to the traders who hit those trades. Keep getting better. Keep it simple. If you don't see a best trade candidate in your session, don't worry. There will be plenty more. Don't do anything to self sabotage yourself. Don't do unnecessary damage on days where there is no best trade setup. We have the Fed tomorrow, FOMC two part release. If there's an opportunity for a best trade candidate prior to that news release session, take the trade, execute, and come back and look for the best trade candidate in the next session that you're trading. Have a great day, traders. I made the markets go with you.